Welcome back. In this lecture, we will discuss kernels and the convolution operation. And this is just another component to build up our understanding of convolutional neural networks. So what is a kernel? Well, it's simply a, a grid of weights overlaid on an image. So this is just a sort of a mathematical way to express a little sliding window that goes over different parts of an image so we can see if that sliding window has a certain aspect of the image that we care about. So the way this works is this set of weights is then multiplied by the pixel values associated with the picture underneath. And this is commonly used in image processing for things outside of machine learning, such as adding a filter to an image, causing an image to blur or sharpen or something like this. And so the process of applying a kernel to an input matrix or a set of pixels, an image, is called the convolution operation. And the result of the convolution operation is called the feature map. So let's give an example of this. So this is an example image. So an image is just a collection of uh, pixels that have different values. And here we have um, a couple different values in this, this grid. And here is a kernel. And so this is one to detect a line. And so you can see in the example, there's, there looks like there's a line right here, maybe in the upper uh, quadrant, uh, the upper left quadrant of the picture as you look at it. And this kernel is detecting a line because this is a, a line. Uh, right here. It's another, um, you know, vector of ones. And so the uh, feature map is the output of this, and this is determined by how many times we can place this kernel over top of the input image, and you'll see this in a moment. So we could take this kernel and we can put it over the first quadrant of the image. And notice by the way in which it fits, there's only going to be four different positions we could put the kernel over. And that's why in the feature map it was just a two by two grid. So what we do is to figure out the value of the feature map, you're essentially just taking the uh, dot product of, of the two, and that gives us a one. And that's the first value in the feature map. And so let's do it again. Now it's moved over one pixel, and we got a negative two with the math. And now let's do the lower left-hand corner. Here we get a negative one. And then the lower right corner, we get a negative one again, and there's our resulting feature map. So this tells us that, hey, you know, this value of one, there's a line in the upper left corner, and sure enough, you know, there was a line in the upper left corner. So it makes sense. Now, there are techniques you may say that, well, wait a minute, you know, I don't know if that's quite right because that line seems to extend a little bit um, into, you know, the uh, quadrant right below it. And you would have a point there. Uh, there's a technique called padding that allows, uh, that probably would provide a different result here. Now, the thing to keep in mind is kernels are just sets of weights. So the trick with using kernels in a neural network is this is a way to learn those weights using gradient descent. So as opposed to having my, you know, uh, you know three um, vectors of negative 1, 1, and negative 1 again, uh, because I say that's a line, instead of specifying that, I just say, hey, there's nine weights. I don't know what those values are. We're going to rely on gradient descent to figure that out for us. And so the idea with convolutional neural networks is this gives us an architecture where the neural network can figure out all those kernels uh, without anyone having to tell it what to do. And so stay tuned for more content, and we'll see how to design such an architecture.